dear student it is the part 2 of the introductory chapter of the biology in which we just first we summarize the previous lesson in which uh, we study about the biology its definition definition as well as uh, branches of biology bios meaning of life and logos is the study it is just greek word in which we study about the living as well as the some uh, non livings which are related with the life like abiotic factor <coughs> water temperature etc but there is some difficulty in defining the life due to two different concept like philosopher and theologians who consider the life is a vital force but according to the scientist uh the biologist concept life is a group of protoplasmic activities by which we can differentiate the living from the non living in other words which in biology is ethology which is the study of behavior while theology is the study of religious concept the different branches summarize as into a single line the branches we study about deal about like ecology the interaction of the living and the non living abiotic factors food chain food web and similar the environmental biology greenhouse effect ozone effect depletion of ozone uh, further pollution effect embryology in which we study about the embryo gametes sex cells sperm gamete even studies called embryology blastula gastrula study morphology is study of shape and the internal morphology is anatomy especially the word viscera is the internal tubular organ like digestive system respiratory system excretory system and physiology is the study of functions of cell organ tissue organism that is the physiology in paleontology was the study of fossils extinct species remain parts in the form of uh, any uh, soils in the form of rocks in the form of wood these are the uh, paleontology histological study the study about tissue and the cytology is the study about the cell and different organelles parasitology the host and the parasites interaction is called parasitology microbiology the study of microbes that was in the previous lecture that is the simple anatomy in which we study about the digestive system of man we see liver intestine heart and physiology different functions related to the human's nervous system thinking about working digestion etc and that is the fossils extinct remain of species their parts their preserved parts their imprints even imprints are also called the fossils embryology different embryology of the birds fish and the humans have some resemblance at their early stage that will be explained in the evolution it is a conservation of the uh, characters histology the study about the tissue like skin different parts of the skin blood vessels muscle human blood is a connective tissue <coughs> in case case of biological organization the subatomic particles assemble together to form the elements if they are the same atom and if they are the different then it is form the compound the same atom some elements are two types artificial as well as the natural the natural are the 22 which can be divided into two branches in non living and the living the living elements are called the bio elements the bio elements are the 10 which can be divided into three form major bio elements and the minor bio elements as well as the trisic the major are the carbon hydrogen oxygen extra minor similarly sodium potassium magnesium and the traces are the negligible small amount which may be vary you know, like manganese to iodine bromine etc the compounds are the two types inorganic and the organic the organic compounds further divided into two micro and the macro which collectively form the biological molecules the biological molecules are the different concentration in case of bacteria and gas of mammalian and the most one is the water in the body of both bacterial prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell and the major in case of animals and bacteria is the protein and the carbohydrates is the in case of plant is the highest carbohydrates but in case of animal the protein is the highest <clears throat> different biological molecule assemble to the form organelles and these organelles assemble to the form cell and the cell assemble to the form tissue 
and then tissue assemble to form organs organs assemble to form the system and system to form the individuals individuals may be prokaryotic and eukaryotic <coughs> even unicellular organism multicellular organism <coughs> the individuals of the same types form the population the group of individuals belong to the same species like this one these animals are of the same species wild cow that is a population and the population in some cases the population from one population to another that movement is called gene flow when one population individual crosses a barrier one population individual move to the another both belong to the same species but there is a barrier there are the two varieties of the same species that is called gene flow <coughs> there is some the genetic drift the some species may be killed in higher classes it also called bottleneck effect the same species remaining species with the passage of time then develop into the another population there was a lot of population and some of the die the remaining change into the complete there were the history of the australian rabbits at the first case the rabbits were the deficient but the breeding when increase it causes the density pressure population pressure increase the density the number of individual increase and the when the number of individual increase that harm the environmental condition as well as their so it is population pressure the effect of population density is called population it may be positive or negative when it was the negative the australian killed the rabbits similarly the individual of different species live together then they form the community different species of different individual when live together they form community and when the community collaborate then they form the ecosystem in ecosystem the individual support as well as harm each other but their individual balance remain constant in case of sedimentation when we study about the living world of the time the different individual sedimented in the different rocks even the distribution of rocks also indicate the sedimentation as well as the fossil help to find out the living organism in the past from uh, proterozoic to paleozoic mesozoic and xerozoic and cenozoic is the modern recent age which called ice age that was the living world in the time with the passage of time we study the individual from past to the present form the older individuals are present at the bottom while the fresh surface contain the fresh animal and fresh individual the older individual have the less radioactive isotopes due to the more radiation with the passage of time their size also decrease only the remain parts are the preserved in the rocks the different layers indicate that there is a sedimentation the sedimented rocks at the bottom are the older one and in the older the animals are in the same age with the same climatic condition with the same food according to the big bang concept the first individual appear after the evolution of solar system initial the temperature rise so much high and then with the passage of time it change into ocean and the first archaeobacteria appear in proterozoic that is the first life in the history of then after prokaryotes protist develop it means the prokaryotes change into protist by the evolution protist was the unicellular and then multicellular develop algae and then unicellular organism to multicellular porifera and that remain process continue and the modern individual develop like this one like a tree it is called evolutionary tree and when the origination is from the single point in the proterozoic that the first individual archaeobacteria that is called monophyletic if the ancestor is common common ancestor theory single ancestor theory the first individual developed from the proterozoic and it was the archaeobacteria it mean archaeobacteria the ancestor of all the organism and if there is a single ancestor then it is called monophyletic with the passage of time the <coughs> oxygen appear which form the ozone and that ozone protect the radiation 
anaerobic condition change into the aerobic form first in anaerobic condition and then aerobic with the passage of time <coughs> the paleozoic era appears after proterozoic the second one is the uh, paleozoic and the first paleozoic is the cambrian ordovician silurian devonian carboniferous and then permian <coughs> that is the mesozoic era the reptilian age jurassic period jurassic park as you may see the movie name on the basis of their fossils the reptilian fossils are the most dominant in this period mesozoic era <coughs> and then cenozoic era the modern ice age in which the human develop other animals it is the age of animals the different biodiversity develop and then change into <coughs> the phylogeny is the tribution tribe study the study of phylogen evolutionary study evolutionary tree in the monophyletic explain that different individual derive from one individual that is the phylogenetic evolution it means there is a evolution the branches system that is also called cladogram but the cladogram cladogenesis is the distribution while the phylogenetic is the link from ancestor to their descendants if the ancestor is the single as we discuss it is a common ancestor mean monophyletic and if different ancestors then it may be polyphyletic the parents ancestors form the descendants mean their offspring every individual develop from their ancestors and that is a continuous process there is no gap there is no gap between ancestor to the descendants everyone come from their parents and the parents also come from their parents and that remain continue up to the ancestor archivity it mean the modern individual are the descendants of the archivacteria with the passage of time changes take place like this evolution of the bone which indicate that the human may develop as a muslim we not believe like this one but it is a scientific concept the phylogenetic tree explain three concept like this one monophyletic monophyletic is a single ancestor theory every individual originate from the single and the polyphyletic indicate different ancestors and the paraphyletic have some deficiency and there may be some gaps there more than one there is a deficiency of the records there are some out group which are different from their uh, other existing form that is called out group similarly the living world in space the space above the ozone have no life but the space on the biosphere have the life which is called biome there are the 9 to 11 biomes in the universe terrestrial the aquatic biome is the different one and like this one there are the different biomes like this one tundra which have the no tree like bushes taiga coniferous forest gymnosperm cool deserts cool grassland temperate deciduous forests temperate rain forest these are the biome warm deserts warm grassland savanna and tropical deciduous forests and tropical the rain forest <coughs> these are the biome which show the living world in the space and the aquatic biomes also have same distribution with respect to ocean to fresh water even salty water have the different biome there may be the three prominent ocean fresh water and the salt halophytic conditions the step in the method of biological study observation the different statements collected which assembled to form the hypothesis and hypothesis checked by the reduction after the experiment then conclusion as he said to form the law these statements are verified by the different labs after the experiments and when it universally proved then it made the law the scientific observation by naked eye or as well as from the instrumental the scientific theory are the mostly exist in the bio but there are the least law due to the elusive nature there is exceptional cases but we can say that the 
साइंटिफिक मैथडोलॉजी इन बायोलॉजी इज सेम लाइक फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री वी डिपेंड अपॉन ऑब्जर्वेशन हाइपोसिस रिपीटेड एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड द कलेक्शन ऑफ द रिजल्ट्स कंपाइल इनटू द कंक्लूजंस कंक्लूजंस रिजल्ट टू फॉर्म द थ्योरीज एंड देन थ्योरी फॉर्म द यूनिवर्सली प्रूव देन इट फॉर्म द लॉ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इज द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच वी कैन इंक्रीज द फूड प्रोडक्ट the genetic engineering is the transgenic individual formation like this one of the gene of interest it may be placed in the plasmid of the bacteria that is the transgenic dna chimeric dna and the different clone result in the different plants which are insect resistive as well as the more productive the genetic engineering develop in case of plant to different uh, form fruits which are more productive with more size like this one that is god of the large as we see in our life there is small size but the transgenic individual <coughs> in case of god's plants that is the largest size similarly that the domesticated plants cultivated in the small scale these are the transgenic plants similar the transgenic animals which are the most product of the meat as well as the milk production as compared to the other animals and similar to the control of the different insects by spray as well as the biological control but the biological control is better than the insecticide the insecticide not only kill the insect but also kill the humans similar the wasps which kill the aphid the aphid is a harmful for the other plants by the sting it destroy the larvae and the maggots of these aphids as well as the adult aphids are also killed by the wasp the insects killing by the spray or toxical chemical is harmful for the respiratory system of it may also the teratogenic the teratology of the developmental abnormality in the next generation it also causes the skin diseases so biological control should be preferred as compared to insecticide spray of the chemicals integrated disease management of the plants and animals have the different steps first we sh should search about the disease causes of diseases and their information about all the diseases all the steps public should also know the all the information and their preventive measure either by vaccination medicine medicine at the door level of the human like polio vaccine and if someone is infected it should be isolated and during the the corona the corona is the best treatment by isolation hydroponic culture is the new technique in which the without soil the plants are cultivated in aerated fresh water and that water have the requirements of salts like this one that the vast vegetables are cultivated in hydroponic culture without the soil the nitrogen and fertilizer are added in the water which provide to the plants for their requirements similar the food preservation is the method to preserve food and pasteurization of the milk this as discovered by the pasteur to kill the bacteria it is essential to keep the food material for the prolonged time similar the preventive measures as in hiv we can control the hiv to know the causes of its uh, spread like homosexuality uh, syringe surgical instruments so these instruments and these causative agents should be removed to avoid these diseases similar the vaccination was discovered by edward jenner in 1796 he studied the do for a small pox in the humans and the cow pox in the cow and the milk man was least suffer from the small pox they have developed the immunity so he took the first injection from the cow pox lion and injected to the jam fips and the second injection were ta taken from the small pox and after few days the jam fips were injected the se second injection but fortunately 
the jam fish do not suffer from the smallpox he may suffer from some fever but he developed the immunity against the smallpox so it was the great achievement by the edward jenner in 1796 that first time he discovered the process of vaccination by a vaccine of the cowpox against smallpox he took the virus from cowpox legion and injected to the jam fibs at the first injection and the second injection from the smallpox the cloning is the meaning to clone same individual formation then one individual dwell from the normal zygote but in case of cloning the two identical individuals may be dwell from the monozygotic if one zygote divide identically into two one these individual are the same these are called identical twin like this one these kids are identical twin they dwell from the single zygote so it is called monozygotic but these are the free terminal twin these dwell from two different zygotes two different sperm two different egg these are the free terminal twin identical twin are the monozygotic free terminal twin are the dizygotic identical twin of the same shape same morphology same sex but the free terminal are the different shape different sex these are the free terminal twins there is the advantages of the cloning we can develop the large number of the same plants which are the best quality the best quality plant by tissue culture the small tissue of the plants are cultivated into different parts each one develop into the same identical copy of the plants produce same types of the variety of animals as well as the plants same types of horse can be a clone best quality of the horse and in the new future generation the clone of humans may be develop but there are the some disadvantages of the cloning the clone may suffer from diseases the clone have less age and the most dangerous one and who one is the culprit if the someone do some fault in the society no one can capture him if the more than one clone are present in the society then any not can detect the culprit one the cloning of the sheep dolly sheep in 1996 called and uh, scientist cat campbell and wilmot discover the cloning there were the two types of the uh, sheep two variety of the sheep black headed sheep that we call as the recipient we collect the egg cell or zygote from its uterus that is the unfertilized egg that is the a cell and we remove the nucleus from it that is the donor that is a b we took the body cell either from the skin either from the memory either from the tail that is a b similarly we also remove the nucleus but we place the nucleus of the b into a that is a transgenic cell and now that transgenic cell is once again placed in the womb and uterus of the b a after certain period it develop into the that was the dolly sheep that was the dolly which resembled to the nucleus donor and we can summarize this one that was the sheep a we took the zygote or egg from the uterus we remove its nucleus it become a e nucleated the sheep b we take the body cell from the b we also remove its nucleus but their nucleus was placed in the cell a that is a transgenic cell and when that transgenic cell was once again placed in the uterus it produced the dolly sheep resembled to b that was the white that is the simplest four step summary of the cloning similar to the gene therapy the transplantation of gene for the treatment especially for the cancer the other individual like bacteria and viruses are so used to transport the gene but there is a direct method there is a method of radiotherapy as well as the chemotherapy the radiotherapy has the positive like lithotripsy to remove the kidney stone but some 
सेल ऑफ द बॉडी विच आर द डेलीकेट आल्सो डिस्ट्रॉय बाय द रेडिएशन एक्स रे अल्ट्रा वायलेट रेडिएशन स्पेशली इन केस ऑफ ब्रेन द मोस्ट ऑफ द यूजफुल डोपोमीन आर डिस्ट्रॉय न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर कैन बी इफेक्टेड द कीमोथेरेपी बाय द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द केमिकल बट द मॉडर्न मैथड ऑफ द जीन थेरेपी वंस अगेन कैन बी समराइड एज देर वॉज द पेशेंट ए विच सफर फ्रॉम द कैंसर वी टुक द रेड बोन मैरो फॉर द बोन मदर सेल which is the a we remove its nucleus that is the e nucleated cell there was a the normal person we took the normal bone marrow cell blood mother cell b and then we remove the nucleus from the b and transplanted into the a that is the transgenic cell which is a clone and these clone were once again placed into the blood of the patient now that patient a produced the normal blood which is exactly resemble to the normal person b the pollution is very dangerous for our society for our universe urbanization industrialization that is the killing our environment not only for the human for our animals they destroy the animals even they cause the destruction of species and human hunting may also cause the threaten of species threaten species which leave a station which leave a habitat but not the universe threatened species can be easily recovered endangered species which are near to extinct the conserved species the endangered species which are controlled from extinction are called the conserved species and extinct species which are not present in the universe now only the few members may be present but that is extinct species it is a need to conserve the world wide funded companies corporations are trying to conserve these environment their animals in cage control breeding places should be conserved or plants to provide our natural ecosystem so it is essential to conserve these environment